you know, when we talk about green hydrogen, its role, that in itself is so fascinating, right? This just gets you so excited. But when you actually come to the site and look at the infrastructure, as you can see here right in my back, this is what I call green hydrogen at work and at work today. Not five years later, not 10 years later, it is happening now. And we are making sure that it is happening now because it's mission critical from so many different perspectives. When we're looking at the site this year, you actually see in my back two of the large spheres being built. One of them is actually capable of storing as much as half a million gallon of hydrogen. So between the two, it's about a one million gallon of hydrogen that it can store. Why does that matter? That allows us to actually have resiliency with our plant, that allows us to manage ongoing maintenance, and that's very important to have that storage network to keep the plant going from a 24-7 perspective because that's what our customer needs. So where the construction is happening, that's where you will see the loading dock go. That's where we're gonna load all of our hydrogen tankers before they go to the customer site. So what's gonna happen is all the way far out to the site, you will actually see mini substations coming online. Then right next to that will be the rectifiers that is gonna drop the voltage down before it goes into the electrolyzer house. In this site, at 45 tons per day, we will have 120 megawatt of electrolyzer. By the way, that's us coming from our Gigafactory, which is only 45 miles away from here. This plant will power as many as 50,000 forklifts. This plant can provide enough fuel to power 1,000 Class 8 trucks. This plant will provide enough fuel to power as many as 7,500 light commercial vehicles. The electrolyzer that I talked about is coming from our Gigafactory. We expect that to be here in the first half of next year. Liquefaction is already gonna be here by November of this year. It'll actually arrive at the Port of Albany from Europe. We fully expect the power distribution center to be here in first half of next year. As a matter of fact, we've done something that uh, many probably wouldn't do. We're actually going ahead and working in partnership with NIPA and National Grid to actually build a 500 megawatt substation. So that's gonna be a mega substation, if you would, and that is gonna feed power into the stamp site. Climate change is real. We must act now, and that's what we're doing at Flood. We're doing it today. It's here, it's real. We're super excited about this, and there's more to come.